All right, hey, let's welcome back. Uh, we are back in Final Fantasy 16 once again. We're gonna go ahead and speak with Otto here. Uh, it looks like Martha is missing from her place at Martha's Rest, so we're gonna have to probably check that out from what it from what it seems like. So, yeah, let's go ahead and head over to Otto to get going on this. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in this area started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled. Bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastbrook, the Empire's been tightening its grip on the Duchy's borders. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers weak enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, we might end up having to save their houses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. All right, so it looks like um, find the curse breakers is the next thing. All right, let's go ahead and do it then. Um, I'm guessing we have to go to Cock and Brawl, maybe? I don't know if we're really able to. I don't think we're able to fast travel from here right now. I think we've got to go down. All right, let's head there then. So yeah, it looks like Titan did end up like destroying the hideaway and everything, smashing it to pieces and such. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right. All right. Aside from the holes in my hull, everything rosy. <laughs> the lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you've got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. <laughs> the coat of pitch might stave off the rot for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Bloody boar. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. Alright, uh, unless of course someone finds you some pitch. Course open us. This skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch. You need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere, which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pitchers of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest. That's for certain. Alright. Cock and brawl. Cock. Slay thorny thistles at cool core oh my gosh, that's a, that's a word. Uh, how do we do that? Where is that? Um, world map? Okay, maybe there. Ah, so we can fast travel. Okay, I think. Yeah, yeah we can fast travel now. Okay, cool. Alright, well, um, this is the main quest, but let's do that. 
that side quest real fast, I think. It shouldn't take too long. Oops, sorry, I slipped. Slay thorny th souls at Coral co Tales Falls. Coral Tail, cor Coral Tail. I don't know. Anyways, uh, is Jill with us? Yeah, she is. Nice. All right. Should be right over here. Easier than felling a forest, I said. The trees don't have teeth. Ooh, discharge fifty blind justice. Lightning balls. I am the thunder. <laughs> nice. That's like the ultimate ability or whatever there. That was pretty cool. But yeah, there you go. That's a nice little achievement unlocked, no problem. Uh, pitcher wax, nice. So that's probably what we needed, right? I can't imagine Obelis needing any more than this. Yeah. All right, sweet. So we, uh, we could head home. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Quickly do that, and then we'll uh, we'll head off to this main quest up next. <laughs> well, did you find me some wax? Sure did. Time is one way of putting it. There you go. <clears throat> You're welcome. Reeks like a chock of Ozar. Well, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. So your boat has a name. I didn't know. Yeah. Same as the old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. Sweet. Quest complete. All right, so let's go ahead and head to the oh badge of my nice. Uh, I think I'm good right now, but I appreciate the uh, the option at least. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> head to the main quest here, Martha's Rest. What happened here? Come on, we need to find the others. Wow. All right. Um, let's go ahead and head this way. you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You uh, could say that, yes. The Stanian pills descended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but all our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. So the Abbey is sheltering Martha's bearers. Bastards. Jid and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. Said the soldiers were talking about the culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Appreciate it. Alright, let's prioritize the quest and then head out. Let's do it. Find the curse breakers. Pursue the garrison soldiers. Make for Glademont Glademont Alley. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. That's a culling. Bearers of the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Alright, uh, I'm pretty sure I can fast travel, can't I? Oh, maybe not. I thought we uh I thought we found some like little fast travel obelisks, but evidently not, I guess. Or maybe just for the quest we aren't allowed to. Maybe because we'll meet someone along the way, we'll see. But it's not too far away, so it shouldn't be a big problem. It's just a little ways. Excuse me. Is 
that her? It looks like her. Are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn black shield, that's what happened. The black shield? The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough so they could get away. And then they may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. I got you. <laughs> Alright, let's go see if there's anyone left over there. Probably won't be, but... Maybe some enemies. There's only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. Seems a step too far, even for the Empire. It's so... Ooh, level up, nice. Don't mind if I do. Let's grab whatever this is real fast. And continue on our journey. Go ahead and take out some of these guys, why not? <coughs> Freaking get wrecked, buddy. Nice. All right, here we go. Rolling up. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh, some dead. There might still be someone inside. Let's check. Uh oh. You lot were all spent. The murderers, they rode the bells to us. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. Why does this feel like the Thalmor? Darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. No, it won't. Get freaking wrecked, buddies. I don't even have to touch you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Literally didn't take long. <laughs> Heck yeah. Dude, this ring of timely strikes and whatnot is real good, and I love it. I value matter and wear it. Wear it not for. No, I'm just kidding. Should be. I think so. Alright, quest complete. There we go. Dark clouds gather. The breath of wind. By two seconds. I mean, not bad, but eh, not really what I'm looking for. 60 bloody hides, though. He may still be alive. Huh? Maybe, yeah. Uh, should we check around here then? Search the Abbey. <coughs> Oof. The Abbot. Well, it doesn't look like he is. Died protecting him, calling upon our little man. 
magic they had left in their bodies. Clyde, he's breathing. The friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are they here? One more time, the cottages will continue. Though Mary and I never be friends, unless we save her, tell her to beg for the thing and tell her this was her fault. I shall. found a survivor! Clyde. He's gone. Rip. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials as she and the Abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearer's remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Radix jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot was still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Release. What <laughs> <Portal> remains? <clears throat> All right. Uh, perform the casting and return to Martha's Rest, make for Riddick's jump. Alright, let's do it. So sad. Oh, we can't. We can't rest the water. Alright, never mind. Uh, how should we get over there then? Go around, I guess. Alright, yep. All right, yeah, still got to go around this little area as well first, and then probably going to end the episode here in just a minute, uh, once we probably just about reached the objective, I think. That sounds like a good, uh, a good place. Go ahead and take whatever this guy is out. <coughs> oh, there's a cutscene. Ahriman rank C. What the heck? There's a bounty on him. Oh. Hello? Notorious marks. Every now and then Clive may encounter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. <clears throat> While flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks can earn him not only renown, but... Sorry, renown, but also rare materials that may be used to craft new gear or upgrade existing items. Alright. Cool. Yeah, he is pretty strong, actually. Less a lot of health.
Alright, we almost half helped them already, so that's good. Staggered again, good. Let's take him out. I think we should be able to take him out here. Oh, maybe not. Almost got him. Any second now. Hey, there we go. Very nice. Notorious Mark Slain. Cool, cool, cool. Well, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we defeated... What was he called again? I forgot his name already, but yeah. We got him. What a dude. That's going to be it for this episode, though. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll uh, uh, perform the casting, I guess, right, in the next episode. All right, we'll see you there. Peace.